Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some good old Galia Lost. With today's video gonna be a summon video. I'm gonna go for Mars over here, the Gallon Dragon. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he's a monster. <laughs> and he's right before Fire Emblem. So I got plenty of like, tickets and stuff, so I'm gonna try and make it so it's only tickets for this one. But I'm gonna start with single tickets to get the, um, the pity rate up. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope everyone else, I know everyone in Trash Alliance basically got um, who they, oop. Uh <laughs> We're done. <laughs> That's who I... One ticket. It only took one ticket. Okay. Um Okay, so let me just calm down here. We'll look at my board right here. So what I was gonna say is that everyone in dra uh, uh, the Trash Alliance, which is my Discord, um, I had to wait a bit to summon because I have to like wait for everyone to go to bed before I can basically summon. Uh, so I've been waiting a whole long time, kind of going like, oh man, I I gotta wait. And so everyone in Trash Alliance was basically getting it. I think the only person that did not get it was one of the new people who joined. Uh, I believe his name is Io, if I remember correctly, on Discord. He joined today because he wanted to talk about the whole the discourse around Mars because based on my video that I did talking about him, there is a lot of discourse um, around his specific release and stuff. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm not summoning on this banner anymore. I'm done. Everything else is saved for Fire Emblem Heroes. I hope everyone else had a pretty... Okay, you know what? I need to... I can't actually... If I... Okay, so now I'm going to actually... So if you... <laughs> the summon is done, let's get into what Mars actually does. Uh... He's Alchemist Hellfire. He deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead, draws the... Draws them towards the user and increases the user strength by 15% for 20 seconds. It is possible to charge the skill. This is him at uh, base form, by the way. Um, I believe it's 20% when he's at max unbind um, for 20 seconds, and it's also possible to use this again. Here's a fun thing I was going to mention during the summon video. By the way, if you have not already, if you're watching this, please leave a like. Please subscribe to me if you want more Dragalia stuff. Uh, I don't know how much luckier I can be with Dragalia. I've been kind of been in a crazy luck streak for sure, but hey, if you want to support me, that'd be great. I hope you guys did fantastic. I'm going to give all, if you know what, if you like and subscribe to me, I'm going to give you the remainder of my luck because obviously I don't need it until Fire Emblem Heroes and in which case give it back to me, please. Um, so yeah, he can use this skill twice, but yeah, in the previous comment I said, I think he's the first one to do it and I think the most upvoted comment is someone going, um, actually, Pop, this pop star Siren would like to have a word with you. And I was like, uh, I completely forgot that she did that. Uh, <laughs> because I never use her as the dragon. I always use her as, um, a dragon someone else uses, and then they buff. That's it. But I've never actually gone dragon with her. Uh, which then someone got confused of like, oh no, there's an adventure. There's a there's no adventurer, uh, Pop Siren. There's two Sirens. And I was like, oh man, I... I'm just taking all the L's possible. No one thinks I know what Dragalia does. But anyway, the crazy thing about this skill is that it can actually, it, you can use it twice, in which case your strength would go up to 40% uh, at max unbind, which is nuts. Flame, you know what? I think, let me check if I can unbind him at the moment. And then I'll continue talking about him. I should be able to. Oh, poor Agni. Is this you, Mars? It is Mars. My dog's in the background getting hype. I only had one sunstone. It's fine. By the way, if if you're... Chances are you should not pull for dupes if you're thinking about it. Because uh, you can just use sunstone on the dragon. The and then that kind of solves up everything. I'm going to leave a pup thing in the actual trash alliance. Let them know what's up. Uh, let me see. 
Let me see if I can get some more sunstone. I can't believe I got him. This is insane to me. I think that might actually be the luckiest summon video. It's all downhill from here. Actually, no, I still take it back because that Valentine summon where I got all three Valentine's Day units in one multi is still, I think, the best. And that was like three minutes in. I love Dragalia so much. I love it so much and it clearly loves me. Let me see, no. Why am I all of a sudden so bad where I can't, it's treasure trade. Okay, so I can have two max unbind at the moment. I'll get another one later. It's not the biggest priority for me. Mm. Okay, go here. Oh, you know what? I can just actually go into the summon screen. And then I'll look at his stuff right here. Well, we'll continue on. Uh, flame strength, uh, 1 HP, 50% equals strength plus 20%? No, that's not right. No, oh, I know where it is. It's in news. I'm a dumb dumb. As long as you're in this world. Listen, I don't need to be smart. I pulled the galley unit. Thank you very much. Now I unga bunga everything. Hit everything super hard. Strength 2 and HP 50% equals strength 20%. If the user is attuned to flame, increases the strength by 70%, increases strength by additional 20% when HP is 50% or above. Um, flame ending shapeshift equals skill gauge 100%. If the user is attuned to flame, fills 100% of the skill gauge when the user shapeshift is undone. So basically when you shapeshift, you have all your skills available. doesn't matter what they are. And uh, you basically have almost always 70% strength. And if your HP ever goes below, you lose 20% of that health. HP, but for the most part at the beginning, you are at 90%, which is insane. Uh, and even if you do get damage, you can just have, because it's fire, Halloween low and heal you up, and you're gonna be perfectly good. Man. Yeah, this guy is, this guy is nuts. I was able to actually be, um, I was able to actually, what's the word I'm looking for? I was actually able to beat, a bunch of people in Trash Alliance were looking to beat, um, Extreme Volk because they basically wanted to test out, test out their new fancy boy, Mars. So I was like with them and I was playing with them and yeah, I was able to beat Evolk pretty easy and it was like for my first time. We lost a couple of times obviously still because I didn't know what was going on, but didn't take many runs, maybe five runs tops. And by the fifth run, we got it perfectly into once we hit phase two, because apparently phase one is the hardest phase. And then once you hit phase two, it's like, okay, just iframe everything and you'll be fine. Oh, you know, okay, you know, I need to go. I need to, f I need to feed my boy, boy as well while I'm at it. Man! I, I still flabbergasted. Well, sure. I can fix your weapon. I'll make it super duper fancy do. Change, change, change! Okay. And funny enough, that was another time where, uh, because as you can see, that dragon, last dragon, um... I hit skip and completely missed their animation. So I was actually waiting until the last possible moment. There we go. I was waiting till the last possible moment, so I was like, okay, four star, that means I'm not gonna get him. It was impossible for me to get him, in my mind, but I was 100% wrong. Man. I can't believe it. Again, I hope everyone out there pulling, they got him super easy. If you're still watching this, I'm amazed. Man. Gotta get him, gotta get my boy Mars all the way up. Wow, that was a little... Hmm. Oh, well, to be fair, I did just feed him a bunch of clovers. I'll look at your story. Actually, you know what? That'd be good. Maybe we can look at his story and we'll end it with that. Okay. Oh, man. This is kind of nuts. Okay. Uh, where was I going? There we go. We'll go into dragon stories. We'll read what Mars does. And we're gonna end the video this way. Okay. Reckless Flames, part one. The young flame dragon ran out of breath and fell to the ground. The fallen dragon was immediately buffed by a feat he had never before known, and within that fire stood an impassive flame worm. Ah, the vagaries of youth, said the flame worm. Alas, your flames were but a nibbling of a mosquito when compared to my own majesty. If you wish to fell me, you must first become the most powerful dragon in all the world, continued the flame worm, before taking wing and soaring off into the sky. 
The young dragon stared after the flame worm as she disappeared into the distance. He felt indignation, yes, but more than that, he yearned to become stronger. The immature dragon acknowledged his own weakness and swore to become the most powerful dragon ever, that he might stand proudly before the flame worm once more. Thus did the young worm begin to travel the world, seeking strength wherever it might be found. He raised a hundred kingdoms with his flames and earned the moniker the Blaze Worm for his actions. Yet he still lacked the ultimate strength, and he knew he could not stand before the flame worm again. And so he paid a visit to a certain dragon. The elder of all dragons, the holy worm Elysium. Elysium. The young seeker gave all he had to the challenge and... Dun dun dun. Alright, let's go. Continue reading. With the end of the story, this is going to be the end of the video. So once again, like the video, and we'll end it with the story. Driven by desire, by strength, like the flame worms, the blaze worm sought the title of strongest dragon in the world, and so he challenged the holy worm, Elysium. The result was pitiful. The blaze worm could not land even a single blow upon the elder of all dragons. He despaired that the title of the strongest would always be beyond him, for despite his power, he had not but a child's toy to the holy worm. Soon, his desolate heart drove him to rampage across the countryside, destroying all he could see, but then a man appeared before him. The man was a prince of Alberia, and he had modified the dragon under his command with alchemy. Alchemy was forbidden the dragons. The blaze worm felt disgust at the breaking of this grotesque taboo and instantly attacked the twisted creature the man had created. He battled the dragon and won, but there was no joy in victory for his opponent had been a lowly dragon without pride or strength of its own. Yet the blaze worm was wounded due to the power of alchemy. When he realized this, a lust for the forbidden power raised the butt within him. The man praised the blaze worm's strength and pressed him to forge a new pact. This arrogant man sought to take back the world from dragons and the blaze worm could see he was prepared to, to use any and all means to the goals realized. Even the most forbidden of taboos was nothing, was nothing to this man, yet the blaze worm saw the avariciousness as a ray of hope that would lift him towards his ultimate goal. Finally, he swallowed his loathing of the thought of alchemy and proffered a single outstretched wing to the man. Thus was the pack forged, and the forbidden alchemy process began soon thereafter. As loathing gnawed at his heart for having broken the taboo, he recalled the flame worm. He realized that even if he stood before her now, it would be as a sick and twisted being with a mind that was no longer his own. It was most regret regrettable. Goodbye, everyone. That was a sad story. <laughs> Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.